Hi, my name is Richard Offinger. I'm a personal injury trial attorney here in Virginia. General District Courts are the lower courts. You can file suit in the General District Court and recover up to $25,000. Your case will be tried in the General District Court with a judge, not a jury. One of the advantages of a General District Court case is it keeps the expenses down. You typically do not have to bring into the courtroom live testimony from doctors, and doctors are expensive to come to court, or even having their depositions taken is very expensive. You can actually use the doctor's affidavit that his medical care is reasonable and related to the injury uh, to be used in court. An affidavit is a signed statement under oath by the doctor or health care provider relating the medical care that he provided to the injury sustained in the case. Another advantage of the General District Court is you can typically get a trial date in a relatively short period of time. I would say your typical time period is two to three months. You actually get your trial from when the lawsuit is filed in that court. Now the other option is the circuit court. Now the circuit court is a more formal court. Uh, there usually are more witnesses involved. It is more expensive. Uh, affidavits, like in the General District Court, are typically not allowed, and your health care providers will actually have to come to court one way or the other. They'll have to come to court live and give testimony under oath or give testimony through a deposition. A deposition is a question and answer uh, under oath uh, testimony uh, that is either read to a jury from a transcript or is recorded by video and the video is played to the jury. When you're comparing the General District Court to the Circuit Court as far as how soon can you have your case resolved, the Circuit Court, the more formal court, is a much longer process. And I would say typically you're looking at a year plus to actually resolving your case and getting a trial date. If your injuries are not that serious, and you'll be satisfied with a recovery of $25,000 or less, I would suggest that you give the generous to court a serious consideration. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this so that you can have some insight into the workings of the court system so you'll know which case to bring your case to, whether it's the generous to court or the circuit court. Each has advantages. My name is Richard Offinger. I'm an attorney with Calvis and Knackman in Virginia. 1-800-HURTLINE. Thank you for watching this.